In this video, we are quickly going to understand how um, the iterations, sub iterations and looping happens in kits. So uh, if we go to the test environment and um, if we pick up uh, any data sheet, so purchase is the data sheet that we have been using um, for our web testing. Uh, we see there are two columns, iterations and sub iterations. Okay, now if I follow this one, uh, for scenario one, test case one, there is just one iteration with one sub iteration. What this means is uh, it's going to run for one iteration and will not loop and will also run for one sub iteration. To understand the concept of iteration a little bit better, uh, we can create one more row. And if you remember the, the shortcut to copy all the data uh, onto uh, from the from the first row onto the second row just select it and press control D Okay, so um, Now we have uh, The same scenario we have the same test case, but we can change The iteration so this time it's going to be uh, Two iterations that would be executed for one particular test case now, uh, for the second iteration, what we would typically do is we would change the, the data. So for example, uh, this one was uh, uh, Sauce Labs bold t-shirt. In the second iteration, we might go for uh, something like a fleece jacket. Ideally, it should be exactly as is in the application. But uh, to give you an example of how uh, the sub iteration will work, or sorry, the iteration will work, um, I've just given you a, run, a random uh, string. So this means that I can run one test case um, for two iterations using two different data sets. How I will use this? Um, I will go to my execution pane. Uh, I have explained this, uh, the design pane execution pane in one of my videos. Uh, if I go to the execution pane, I can create a, a release. So right click, add a release. I'm going to name my release as release one. Inside release one, I will create a test set. Right click, add test set. I'm going to name it as set one. We're going to create a proper test set later on during the execution video. But as of now, I'm just creating a, a dummy test set to show you how we can use iterations. And these are all the scenarios that I have created. If I select uh, scenario one and test case one, um, if I pull it to my test set that I just created. Save it. Now I have the option of running all iterations. So if I select all, what this will do is, uh, okay, I need to select a proper browser. So let's say Chrome. And if I run this, uh, my test case one will be executed for all the iterations that I have in the data sheet. So if I go back to the design pane, I have two iterations. If I had five or six or seven or 10 iterations, it would uh, keep on executing all the iterations uh, with different data set. So that's a very nice feature where you just create one test case and using the concept of iterations, you can repeat your tests. Okay, going back to the design pane, uh, the iterations can be a single. So this will only execute your first one. Um, the iterations could also be n. That means you can specify, okay, I just want my fifth iteration to execute. That's also possible. And the iterations could also be a range. So I can also say that I want iteration two, two, five. So it will start executing from the second iteration and will go on till the fifth iteration. So there's a very high level of flexibility in terms of choosing which uh, test case 
to execute or which test iteration to execute. Now we are going to talk about um, test sub iterations. Okay, so if I go back to the design pane, uh, sub iterations is um, is usually um, restricted to a particular test case and a particular iteration. So if I take an example of this test case, okay, scenario one, test case two, uh, which has one iteration and one sub iteration. If I add one more row to this, so the same technique I'm going to follow, I'm going to select this control D. So now I have all the data from this row onto this row. Now I'm going to keep the iteration same, that is one, and I'm going to change the sub iteration. So this is no longer iteration one, this is iteration uh, sub iteration two. So we have two sub iterations, one and two. Um, here also the, the concept is more or less the same. That means uh, we can change uh, the, the second one. So let's say uh, we are also going to use fleece jacket. So for the second sub iteration, I have just simply changed the, the data. Okay. Now what this will uh, do is if I run my second test case, uh, as is like this, it will uh, execute only sub iteration one because I have not specified any execution belonging to sub iteration two. Uh, now, in order to specify uh, my test case to run for both these sub iterations, what I essentially have to do is in the condition column, I need to select start param and end with end param. So now my steps will repeat. So the login and the add items and the checkout details and then finalize will repeat uh, for both the sub iterations. So here I can specify whether I want it to only execute for two sub iterations. Let's assume I have 10 sub iterations. I can also specify, okay, I need to run it for five sub iterations. So basically loop the test execution for five sub iterations. If I don't enter any value and I just simply select end param, it will automatically calculate, okay, I have uh, so and so number of sub iterations could be five or 10 for this particular iteration and it will go on executing it uh, for all my sub iterations. Okay, so that's another usage of sub iteration. Um, there is a final concept about uh, looping that we would learn now. We have something like a, a loop, so we can use start loop and then we can use end loop and we say, okay, I want to loop it for uh, five times, for example. Now, the loop uh, concept does not, uh, does not pertain to any iteration or sub iteration. It blindly loops through these steps that you have specified in the condition. So the corresponding actions are looped uh, five times or 10 times for that particular iteration for that particular sub iteration. I hope that creates a clear demarcation between what an iteration is, what a sub iteration is, and how we can loop uh, using kits. See you all in the next video.